Hello, this is Mr. Agbamo Idano Grenier. In this video, I'm going to show you how you can visualize area of shaded part in a diagram in your classroom or with your student when you are teaching. I know most times our students always have some issues when teaching areas of plane shapes and you now shape some part of the plane shapes and you tell them to find the area or to calculate the area of that part. Sometimes the visualizing is very important. They know the formula to use, but because they cannot actually visualize it, they cannot really bring out the part that is being shaded. They will be confused. They will start complaining that the question is difficult and just like that. So this video, I want to see how you can solve that problem of visualization using the Microsoft Word. All you need to do is to install this FFX in your Microsoft Word, then you are good to go. So to start, just click on your FFX, then make sure the FX draw is open, then click on the FX draw, then it's there already, and that is FX draw. So I don't need this uh, grid box, let me remove it, just click on this, that's gone. So let's do a simple demonstration, let's assume I have concentric circles, let's draw a circle, this is a circle, Okay, let me draw another one. This is another circle. Alright, now these are two circles like this. So sometimes they may shade this part here and they tell the children to calculate the area of the shaded part. Some of them may be confused which formula to use. Is it the big circle area minus small circle area? But I just want to use, just want to demonstrate just the visualization. I'm not here to do any calculation. How to visualize it in your classroom with your student play around with it and then watch you so all you need to do after drawing the shape use this tool you can see the flood fill tool just click on it tap where you want to fill and that is done you can see this small mark here this x mark just click and drag it you see you have gotten it all so just like that so when they see something let me take it out first for example no place is shaded you can see it's outside so they can see this circle is there this is a big circle this another small circle then immediately this one comes in here you can see this green part is the shaded part so that is that if you don't want to use this kind of uh, shaded symbol just make sure you is highlighted come to this place brush tie you can use any other style you want for your shading okay let me come and choose this let me choose this okay you can use this style you can use any of this style you wish you can change the color to whatever color you want just like that okay I change to red okay so that is one with this one they can easily see that you're actually subtracting this small circle out of the big one for you to get this shaded part or if you put it like this similar thing just like this similar all right let's take this out so if you want to take it back to your microsoft word just click on this it will enter your microsoft word easily without stress so that is it you can drag pull it to anywhere you want to put it in your work and that is that all right so this is done okay let's move on okay let's go back to fx again draw let's have another diagram let's hide the grid let's take a circle for example let's take a circle Okay, let me draw a line from the center, something like I say radius. Let's get this a radius. So let's get this card. So the same thing if I get my flood fill, see I can fill this place. I can highlight it first change the mark I want to use okay so you can actually to find the area of this portion so this is a segment 
but if you make it out to this place you can see a triangle is here then if i let me get another one if i mark here you can see let me use the same shade let's click on this you can see the full shaded part here is a sector so this is a sector but immediately i click on this one and drag it out you can see now so a triangle has left the sector that's why i said you can actually use it to teach your children how to visualize this area of shaded just take this flood fill tool put it in different positions click on this put it here take the shaded star you want let me use this so this is a full circle so when i subtract this out you see so i now have a sector left when i subtract this out i now have a segment so sector minus this triangle will give me a segment so that is the beauty of it you can see it just like that you can put it here you can play around with it with your, in your class just for your student to view and understand it very well then if you are true with this just click let me click again let me delete this click on this then take it to your microsoft word directly then you can move it to where whatever place you want to put it on the screen you can reduce the size just like that you can see how easy you can do it just like that let me just play around with venn diagram let's see a venn diagram so that you understand what um, i actually mean you can also use this system to explain your venn diagram very well to your student and they will understand you very well let's see let's go back to fx draw this let me get my three circle but actually in fx you can actually get your venn diagram by coming here let me get the three sets venn diagram you can see just click on it just click and drag you can see your set you can adjust it the way you want so instead of drawing three circles rectangle you'll be there wasting your time so if you want to demonstrate some things here let me label the three oh this is point let's undo that let's get our text tool all right this is a let's get this as b Let's get this as C. Let me pull this here as my A. Let me pull this here as my B. Let me pull this here as my C. Alright, so these are three sets A, B, C. You can actually do the same flood fill see you can change the shaded star you want let me use this you can change the color if you want let me use blue all right so you can actually use this to explain your venn diagram to your student just click and drag for example this is a not a b and c that means a prime come intersection b prime intersection c prime that means none of them are in A, B, and C. You can also use it. It's a part of way of shading a region and your children view it and understand it. You can click and drag. You see. So this is without A. You can just do it in your classroom. You see the circle of A, none is being shaded. You can see even the circle of B, none is being shaded. Only C is shaded. You can see it here. You can see it's a way of visualizing your area of shaded part for your student to view and understand. If you bring this here, you see. If you bring this here, 
take it out just play around with it you see depend on what you want you are the teacher you may need it in some other areas of your class you just want you to see it as a tool you can use anytime in your class depend on the way you think as a teacher if you want to get more than one you can click on the float fill again click on this part you can take change this okay, you need to highlight it first okay let me take this out let me delete that so you can click on this see you can put it here this is b and c being shaded if you want it to be here you can move it here see you can get two or three or four depending on what you are looking for if you want the outside alone just make sure you click on the star that is the x symbol and drag just like that all right so that is all i have for this video i just wanted to see how you can actually visualize your area of different parts in your diagram and use it in your classroom with your students just like that so hope you enjoy watching this video so this is all i have for us then return to your microsoft world with this and your work will come out clean and clear as you want it so that is all i have you can change the size if you want to drag it to where you want to place it in your microsoft wall you can reduce the size so that is all for now so thank you so much for watching this video thank you for seeing all i've done for liking it and if you want to do more just make sure you install this FFX in your system make sure you have it there and you are good to go so thank you for watching do have a nice day